Hello, my name is JP O'Connor. I'm from Analog Devices Analytics, Insight, and Diagnostic Groups. Today, I'm here to demonstrate our AutoSense platform. Our AutoSense platform takes sounds and vibrations from the real world, brings them in, and adds context to them. Let's take a look at our AutoSense development kit, our ODK. Behind me is the dashboard. Okay, the dashboard displays this, you know, takes the sounds that are coming in, categorizes them, you know, lets you know, you know, where do they stand with regards to, you know, normal operation, you know, as well as, you know, how fast and when they've been updated. Okay, so right now we're in the off position. We have, we're simulating sounds from the real world using a speaker up in our turbine, okay? Now, at this moment, the turbine is off, okay? When we take in the sounds, we're able to categorize them into groups. We do this by using 34 feature vectors, such as ketosis, RMS, etc. A lot of other uh, machine health monitoring solutions out there use possibly three, maybe four. Like I said, we use 34 feature vectors. This allows us to take any sound that we are receiving from real world and, and bring them in and allows us to visualize them in what we call our splatter. It takes real world uh, sounds and groups them. For example, we have the off condition, we have uh, the bad gearbox condition. These 34 feature vectors allows us to expand beyond just uh, machine health. So once we have our, our models, or once we have our events tagged, as we say, we're able to create models from that. And we take those models and we download those models down to our edge device. What this allows, this allows us to take these sounds that are coming from real world and on our edge device, easily compute and determine what are those sounds. Are they normal? Are they, are they bad gearbox? What are those sounds and should we do something about it? So the edge device will send up to the cloud the actual answer to this device. Now, once we create our splatters, you know, those detection models that we created are able to be sent down to the device. And as you can see here, this shows six different events, you know, such as bad gearbox, bad bearing, on, good turbine, okay? And this shows you the categories and how they are cleanly, using our 34 feature vectors, they are cleanly ca categorized, okay? Now, in addition to handling or categorizing these, the data that's coming in, as I mentioned earlier, we have the ability to look at our outliers. Our outliers are things that vary from normal operation. So we consider a good turbine as it's running normal, okay? And maybe we'll have a score below two. But as things go bad and things go wrong, the outlier or sound of vibration that comes in are not what you're looking for. The outlier score will get larger and higher. Okay, so the idea behind our software is that it's demonstrating how simple and easy it is to visualize up on the cloud. For example, right here on my iPhone, I'm able to visualize our outlier scores from when we were running our device. Now the device that I have in front of you, as you can tell, we don't have really actually have a real wind turbine here, so I'm demonstrating this by having a speaker inside the device. Right now, if we go ahead and as you can hear, that's actually the sound of a good turbine. Now, if you look back up to our, our dashboard here, that says, hey, I'm getting a good turbine, okay? Now, we can also go through and demonstrate what is it, what does a ball fault sound like? Well, this is a ball fault. But now, as you can tell, if you look at that outlier score, the outlier score is jumping all over the place. That's because that is outside the norm, outside what we're expecting. I'm JP O'Connor from Analog Devices. Thank you very much for watching. For more information, go to www.analog.com.